border gateway protocols route reflectors. In IPv6 as well as IPv4, this plays an important role. We're going to identify what that role is, how to configure and verify it in this micro nugget. Let's begin. Our objective for you and I in this micro nugget is to identify the benefits of using a route reflector inside of a BGP environment. In this topology, it happens to be IPv6, but the concept of a route reflector applies to both IP version 4 and IP version 6. Let's introduce ourselves to this topology. In the topology, I've got these red dotted lines right here, and they represent the external BGP neighborships that I've got between the autonomous systems. And these blue lines, the blue dashed lines right here, they represent internal BGP neighborships within the AS. To best understand the route reflectors function, let's take a look at this network block, which is being advertised by R1 up to R2. Now when R2 learns about this prefix, the 2001 DB8 colon one colon colon slash 48, it says, oh great, thanks for telling me. I'll tell all my internal neighbors. So R1 advertises it over to R3. Now here's where it becomes very important regarding the route reflectors. There is a rule that says, if I learn a route from an IBGP neighbor, I will assume that everybody else in my autonomous system already knows about this prefix, about this route, and I won't bother advertising it. So in this case, R3, because we learned it via an IBGP neighborship, we're going to not advertise it to our others. So here in this case, R4 wouldn't get it and R5 wouldn't get it, at least not from R3. So that's a problem because guess what? R4 is not going to learn that prefix if R3 doesn't tell them about it. So to fix that, we have to break the rule. And my friends, that's exactly what a route reflector is doing for a living. It breaks the rule and it says, Dear Mr. R3, if you get a route and you get an advertisement from an IBGP neighbor, such as R2, go ahead, what the heck? Go ahead and advertise that route to your other IBGP neighbors. So it might have been called the ignore the IBGP to IBGP rule, except they simply call it a route reflector because when the routes come in, they get reflected or forwarded to other locations which normally they wouldn't based on the default BGP rules. Let's take a road trip up to R4 and let's take a look at what it looks like before we configure R3 as a route reflector and what he should have here is virtually no routes learned regarding the one block, the four block, or the three block, or anything else from our external autonomous systems. And the reason for that is because as R2 advertised the routes in and R5 advertised the routes in, R3 is not forwarding those routes up to R4 because of the IBGP to IBGP default rule. Up on R4, let's go ahead and ask him to show us the BGP table for any IPv6 routes that he's learned. And he's basically saying, I know about this two block right here, and that's within my autonomous system, but it's missing the one, the three, and the four from the three other autonomous systems. We could ask him, hey, do you have any BGP neighborships? And we can do that with the summary option. Show BGP IPv6 unicast summary. And it says, yeah, I've got a neighborship and I've got a neighborship with R3, that's the peers address right here, and it says I've learned one route. However, we're missing three additional routes from the other autonomous systems. The reason those routes are not showing up on R4 is because R3 is currently obeying the don't forward IBGP learned routes to other IBGP peers. We're gonna fix that by visiting R3 and tell him that we want him to be a route reflector and to make R4 a route reflector client. Let's make a road trip over to R3 and train R3 that he should be a route reflector and make R4 his route reflector client. On R3, we'll go into configuration mode for router BGP autonomous system 2000 and inside of address family for IP version six, we'll simply say our dear neighbor, Mr. R4 using our peering address with R4, we want that guy to be a route reflector client. Doing that alone, makes this router, R3, a route reflector. Now what should happen if everything goes well is that up on R4, if we do the same show commands again, we should pick up the additional three BGP routes that are being advertised by the other autonomous systems. So let's make a road trip over to R4. 
and let's do a show bgp ipv6 unicast summary and take a look at this this is great news we have some additional prefixes that are coming in fantastic we're one earlier and now we're at four and let's take a look at what the details of those are we can do that with a couple up arrows by doing a show bgp ipv6 unicast and there are the additional routes so this one right here had been internal and we've learned the three and the four and the one all now based on r3 being a route reflector in this micro nugget we took a look at the benefit of having a route reflector to break the rules to say yes i'm willing says r3 to forward a bgp learned route if i learned it from an ibgp neighbor to forward it to my other ibgp neighbors we took a look at implementing that route reflector command on r3 with ipv6 and also verifying the results up on R4. Now the great news again is that the concept of a route reflector applies both to IP version 4 as well as to the IPv6 world. I've had a great time discussing this with you. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.